Hi everyone and welcome back again to our series. Today's video is about aircraft lighting system. This video is categorized under aircraft general knowledge. Before we start, we must define what is lighting system. The lighting system provides the illumination for both exterior and interior use. Lights in interior help pilots to read cockpit instruments and provide the flood light to illuminate the whole aircraft cabin. On the other hand, exterior lights provide illumination for such operations as landing at night, inspection of icing conditions, and safety from mid-air collision. You can operate different lights by its own dedicated switch located in the cockpit. Specifically, the external light switches panel is found behind the left side yoke and you will find the radio panel glare shield and pedestal dimming control knobs in the bottom mid section beside throttle lever. We will focus on the exterior lights because the interior lights are simple and self-explanatory in the Cessna 172. The exterior lights in our Cessna 172 are based on Navigation lights, beacon lights, taxi lights, landing lights, and strobe lights. Starting with navigation lights, also known as positioning lights. They are on the wing tips of the aircraft and on the tail of the aircraft. On the left, we have the red light, and on the right, we have the green light, and on the tail, you will find the white light. These lights have a certain angle of illumination where the lights on the wingtips have a 110 degrees and the light on the tail has 140 degrees of illumination. The main purpose of these lights is to help us to identify aircraft path relative to our position, whether it is coming from left to right or vice versa, or is it approaching us or fly on the same path. According to air law and operational procedures, navigation lights must be turned on between sunset and sunrise during all operations, whether on the ground and in the air. Also in the conditions of low visibility such as fog and mist. On top of that, we do have our beacon light or the anticollagen light, which is a single rotary or strobe red light located on the top of the aircraft fin. It must be turned on either period of engine start or aircraft movement to notify other especially the ground crew personnel about your intentions of starting the engine or moving. This light usually kept on until you reach your destination and your aircraft is at complete stop and the engine is off at the final parking position. Taxi lights are the lights which help pilots to see taxi lines, the taxiway itself, or any other obstacle in front of him while taxiing on the airport vicinity. The taxi light in our Cessna 172 is in the leading edge of port side wing beside the landing light. Usually, this light is turned on when pilots are moving on ground until runway holding point. While takeoff and landing, pilots use landing lights for better visibility and to be able to identify runway markings and edges. It has a long range beam and more intensity compared to the taxi light. Usually after takeoff and landing, pilots turn this light off, but during foggy weather, it's advised to keep it on while on the air. And now to our last light type the strobe lights. They are flashing high intensity bright white lights and can be spotted from long distances. They are located on the wing tips behind the navigation lights. 
Usually they are turned on before entering the runway and during the flight all the way until you land and vacate the destination aerodrome runway. And that's it for our today video. If you find it interesting and you are looking for more, don't hesitate by supporting this channel by subscribing, liking and sharing and if you have any suggestion just keep it in the comment section below on this video. Again thank you for watching and until next video fly with passion.